Here in Exhibit A, we have a two-door Bronco without a roof rack, but not for much longer, for it is a dealer sin that must now be cleansed. Laid out here is the kit, plus my tools. You'll need to provide a 10mm socket, T30 Torx bit, pry bar, and ratcheting wrench. Ford does provide this funny torque wrench as well, literally to tighten the only two bolts in the world shaped like it. Start by gently prying this cover off next to the windshield. Next, me and my wife will be confused by this grasshopper, for the instructions didn't actually mention anything about this. <laughs> it smacked me in the arm. Turns out grasshoppers react to the sound of ratcheting wrenches. Now I know how to communicate with them. Two 10mm nuts get removed here and the driver's side roof rail gets put into place, starting with positioning it in a slot in the rear, then slide the front of the rail on top of the exposed studs. Take these two bolts and torque them to 8 foot-pounds with the 10mm socket. These bolts will secure the cover cap, and the ask is 6 foot-pounds with the T30 bit. The problem I had here is that I could never quite reach 6 foot-pounds, and it just kept spinning until the cover cracked, so truthfully I think you can get away with tightening everything by hand without a torque wrench. You know, about two oogadoogas. Rinse and repeat everything with the passenger side, then mount the rear cross rail using T30 bits to 9 foot-pounds. This plastic cover uses the same bolt and takes 6 foot-pounds. Now we get to play with a funny tool. This port will reveal this strange triangular bolt, for which we'll use the torque wrench they provided. It does have a language, and the only word it knows is the word click. Once it clicks, you know you'll have reached torque spec. And do the same on the passenger side. Finally, the front cross rail can be mounted either in the middle or the front of the car. It has threads for both, and you can just pull the caps out of them. Personally, I decided to pay tribute to the Bronco by reaching the roof summit and bolting it up from there. T30 bolt here, 8 foot-pounds. Now, you would think I'd be done with this project, but naturally, Ford sent me two driver's side caps and no passenger side, of course. This earned me a frustrating phone call with the dealer, in which they insisted that an entire kit had to be resent, correct part fished out, and then sent back to Ford. Eh, I suppose making sense was vastly overrated anyways.